hi welcome to GK videos in this video I'm gonna demonstrate how to generate dump report from Lenovo iOmega NAS devices so basically what is dump report the dump report is nothing but it's a collection of logs from the NAS devices where uh, the Lenovo support team would be requesting to the customer and based on the dump report whatever the issue the customer uh, notifies to the support they gonna diagnose and investigate and uh, that is where the support engineer many times uh, you see they would be requesting the dump report and I'm gonna show you how to generate dump report from cloud edition as well as non cloud edition so in our lab purpose I'm gonna use uh, one of the px4 300d device which is cloud edition with the IP address 192.168.0.15 and uh, one ix2-200 device with IP address 0 0.32 okay and how do you find out which is cloud and which is non-cloud okay so it's very simple a thumb rule if your device starts with firmware version 2.x then it's a non-cloud edition you would see a red and black color background web page and if your device starts with the firmware version 3.x then that is cloud edition and 4.0 that is cloud edition so let us just log into the NAS web consoles so I've already opened a web console of px4 300d and ix2 200 so this is basically a ix2 200 a 2 terabyte device which i'm using in our lab purpose so you see the background it's white and red so i would just log into the device and i would show you how to generate a dump report from a non-cloud device first okay so this is the page you should get once you log into your web console if it is prompting for username password you should enter otherwise you should get this web page directly if you have not uh, set any username and password then what you're gonna do next is if you see the URL it is the storage the host name or the NAS name either you can enter the IP address or if you have uh, forward reverse lookup zone added to the NAS host name then you can also enter the NAS host name which should um, you know enter to the NAS web console and uh, if you see here the URL is NAS host name or IP address slash home.html so this is the home.html web page and you see a lot of uh, options available here so what I'm gonna do is you know I'm gonna navigate this web page to the support web page which is hidden it's support.html then hit enter here we go so this is the support page which you normally should get after entering support.html on the web URL so uh, you would find uh, different options here the first option is support access the support access is nothing but uh, you know the SSH uh, or uh, you know the SSH uh, protocol enable so which means that the uh, support engineers will be able to dial into your NAS using SSH and uh, this would be used only with the support not by the uh, end user so I would just go ahead and cancel it and uh, support files so this is the page which we're gonna look and you see I have already generated dump report so after clicking support files you would find an option called dump so once you click on dump it's gonna gathering system state so it would gather all the system information like your hardware and software all the applications running on it all the process so everything so it's gonna take a couple of minutes and once uh, it gets completed you should see a file just like this with uh, the year and the month and date format with timestamp with the extension .tar.gz
so I hope it's gonna take a couple of minutes for us Alright, while uh, the process is going on, I'm gonna pause this video and we'll start once the dump report gets generated. Alright, welcome back. So now that the dump report has generated and if you see the size of the file is 3.4 MB and uh, the file name dump hyphen 2013 the year then 08 August month 23 the date and the time and seconds. So this is how you need to generate a dump report and once you click on this file it's gonna download on your computer. So uh, basically this is the file which the support would be requesting from you and this is how you have to generate a dump file from a non-cloud system. And let us see how to generate a dump file from a cloud device. So I would just open up the web console of the cloud device and uh, just to give you some more information about cloud and non-cloud it's very simple the cloud device runs with different uh, version of operating system and then the non-cloud edition and on the cloud edition you would uh, find some different features enhanced features i would say uh, like uh, the cloud uh, services and you know other features and the versions of softwares are different and the supported applications would you know restrict with uh, non-cloud edition then cloud edition okay so this is the page normally you should get once you log into your web console of a cloud edition device and uh, I would first check my firmware version available so if I go to system status the system status would let me know what is the firmware version currently running on the NAS unit so uh, if you check my version it's 4.0.2 so this is a cloud edition device with the latest firmware version available at the moment 4.0.2 well uh, there is a patch available which is 4.0.4 so what we what we have to do here is the non cloud edition while we entered support.html the cloud the cloud edition we got to use diagnostics.html so in our case there is two versions like it said for cloud edition one which comes with 3.x and one with 4.0 for example if you have 3.0 version running on your NAS unit in that case you would find the URL the IP address or host name of your NAS then manage but in our case what happens for 4.0 you will find IP address or host name of the NAS then manage then manage so it's just a navigation of slash and slash manage and manage so in our case whatever the end you do have to think about 3.0 or 4.0 but all the thing at the end what you gotta do is just go to the end select it and type diagnostics.html hit enter and here is the page of support diagnostics page which is hidden so like I said this is support access you can uh, enter the SSH port and the password and uh, you can enable remote so normally uh, this would be enabled by the support whenever they are gonna dial to your NAS unit for any troubleshooting but it is not uh, recommended for the customer or end user now I would click on support files click on create a dump file 
so it's gonna generate or gather the system state right now so it would take a couple of minutes and uh, it should uh, generate a dump report what we see on uh, the non cloud version of device so I'm gonna pause this video for a couple of minutes while it gets the dump report gets generated and I'll be back welcome back so now uh, we see that we have two dump report uh, files generated so uh, basically the first one is the original one which contains uh, you know more information like the core files everything and the second one is dump light so you know either you can provide both the files to the support or you can just download uh, the particular file and you can provide it to the support so now what we're gonna do is now that we got the device uh, you know the firmware uh, sorry dump report got generated so the next step would be to upload this file to their website so the first thing what we have to do is you know if the dump size is slow you should be able to send it over the email as attachment if for example the file size is more then you should attach upload this file to their website all right so now what i'm gonna do is that we have downloaded one dump file so you got to upload it to the ftp site of iomega so for example if it's 10 mb or 15 mb you will not be able to attach uh, to your email and uh, send it to them in that case uh, you should use their ftp server uh, i have the ftp details with me right now so this is the ftp details what you should get from the support uh, what you have to do is just copy the link of the FTP server and ask me later paste it on a web browser and I would prefer Internet Explorer for this because Internet Explorer would give you the Windows browser options where you can uh, easily upload the file to the website whereas with Chrome or uh, with uh, Mozilla that would be a problem so now it is prompting for username and password I would just provide the username and the password and enter into the site log on ok looks like the password is wrong looks like the password is not taking up <laughs> all right seems to be password a problem I'll check it here we go so this is the page you should get once you enter the username and password and uh, as it explains to view this FTP site in file explorer press alt click view and then click open FTP site in explorer so I would just press my alt key available on my keyboard and I would receive these options I would go to view click on open FTP site in Windows Explorer and it should open up a browser so I would enter the username iomega sg and the password and uh, while it authenticates so this is the page you should receive this is just a browser authenticating the site with provided username and password and now what you got to do you will not be able to see uh, any information on this box because this username and password has only read only access and write so which means uh, you know most of the time you upload your file you will be able to write you can upload but you will not be able to view those files so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just drop this file to this window and the 
copy process starts it just calculates the time required to upload and it copies the file so once the file gets copied only thing what you got to do is you can just copy the file name and send the support the dump file name where they should be able to download the dump file from the, it, from their I'm sorry from their FTP server so this is how you generate a dump report and upload it to the iomega website so uh, this is all about this video thank you for watching the video keep watching for more videos thank you